When I, when I came into the wrestling business, I, I didn't really know how, what kind of wrestler I wanted to be. I, I knew I, I had, I had like kind of stars who inspired me, but no one on my level who inspired me. And you know, when I was nine months old, my father left, so I didn't really have a male role model. But uh, once I met Bon Boy, I kind of felt like I, I want to be like this guy. I want more people to know who this guy is. Uh, it was just the way I felt all the time. And then when we, the first day we met, actually, uh, we had we had to team up. And they teamed us up. We've never met before. And uh, I just know that he did some some move where his like butt came really high up in my face when I was in the corner tagged out. I was like, well, this guy's got a big butt. Why is this guy's butt so big and red? He had like, he had, like red tights on. And we always make that joke every time we talk about it. Um, but in that company, we kind of by accident started the idea of TNE. We kind of just were friends, and that was what was the coolest part of it because no one gave us that idea. No one said, hey, you guys are going to be team now, and you're going to be team to wear up. That was something we thought of. That's something they couldn't take away. That's not something, it was like once we started doing it, everybody wanted to be involved. And I want, for one second, you guys, check this guy, hold the camera right here. He was there with us. TNE was Rick and me and Bob Boyd and Cryptic Keegan, Roxy Cotton, Missy Sanchez, we started that. Dinlock was there. And it was all about, it was like, everybody had their clips and we really didn't fit into those clips. So uh, we started our own one. Like, uh, <sighs> what the, the funny thing was when we met, by the way, you, when you hang out with somebody a lot, you wind up hearing the same stories a lot. So Bamba was an athlete in school, and he would tell us these stories. And uh, he told us this one story where he was telling, like, he was in varsity wrestling, and some guy had another guy in a headlock, and his eyeball popped out. That's the story he told us. <laughs> and the second he told it, everybody seemed to want to believe it, and I just, just to be a jerk, was like, that didn't happen. You're making it up. You're making it up. And he's like, I swear to God! He's like, he's like trying to call people and like, I'm like, what's the guy's name? He's like, his name is like Jonathan Matthews or something. I'm like, that sounds made up, you're making it up. And like, that was like an example of some intensity that you would get off the guy. <laughs> and I got when he comes out here, he'll tell me the guy's name and that it was real. Did you believe it, Rick? I didn't believe it. <laughs> no, you didn't believe it. But the guy's, the guy's eye fell out. Um, just, there's there's so many funny stories, but I'm not gonna go into too many of them because we don't really have the time for it. Uh, and uh, just the kind of wrestler that I am was based off of the intensity that he kind of fed me by accident. So it means so much to me now that that baby sitting right there, right there, see that baby? That is the new era right now. That is Spider Bomboy. He's the reason for all of this for him. Okay? And what I want to do before before I guys have before I have you guys uh, watch the video, I want to let you know that this title is Bomboy's title now. I'm giving it to Bomboy. Everybody check out this video for the new era of that Bomboy.
Thank you, Nuggets. 